Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So we see a lot of selling pressure today um, across the market, across the markets, I should rather say. I think most markets are selling off today, um, including the SPX yeah, stock market. And we see here on the ETH chart quite a rapid decline. I already posted that earlier today um, that we have to expect a third wave down in the yellow count. And if it's the if the yellow count is really unfolding, then the move down would be quite rapid. This was one of the first signals I sent through today on Discord for gold members because we could see that it would be a third of a third wave that hopefully helped some of you prepare for this decline. Um, even though obviously we needed a break minimally below this uh, swing low, the Thursday low to confirm that. But yeah, then you can see actually this microstructure that I shared earlier today. I think it was after the last video and um, it basically filled in nicely, making the white count certainly less likely. Yeah, certainly less likely. And the white count, as you might remember from the previous video, which is the short term bullish one, would have required a break above $3,615 to confirm further. So while the white count can still play out with a low B wave, it appears more likely that this is now um, here the third wave down in the yellow count, which is the short, short term bearish option that we discussed. And I also have a next target range for you, micro target range that we are going to talk about. So again, let's, let's maybe start with the white count uh, in more detail in the white count. The idea is that the wave four in which we are and have been since March, really, you know, uh, middle of March, early March, actually. So this fourth wave started that this fourth wave actually bottomed already on the 20th of March. But because the price hasn't really been able to rally um, in an impulsive way, the only way that we can say that a low is already in would be to say that this is a diagonal pattern. But you can see the price hasn't really been able to move away from support and sustain above it. So it is a potential, the white count, but it hasn't it hasn't very you know been validated further. So this is definitely still a potential though, and it would be possible in a one, two, A, B scenario, in which this B wave, however, needs an urgent turnaround. And then we could start wave C to the third wave to the upside. Uh, this count is not reliable until we now see a first one, two setup in wave C. If we see a first one, two setup, which means a micro five wave move to the upside, followed by a three wave pullback, then we can say, okay, this is a one, two setup in wave C. We see a little bit of action today, obviously, after the boring sideways movement over the last few days. And um, it would be sort of the end of the B wave here, but it doesn't look finished yet. It doesn't look fully finished. Uh, remember that I highlighted to you already in the last updates, also the written updates, that this looked like a five wave move down, three waves up. Definitely made us very much prepared for a drop like that. But obviously it's only confirmed with a break below swing lows, which then happened. Um, but for the for the white count, I mean, yeah, this could be an A wave down, a B wave move up, and then this would be a C wave down. But then even the C wave down needs to fill in a little bit more. So yeah, it looks more like yellow. Now let's switch over to the yellow count, which um, seems to be targeting this micro target area. How did that come together? So in the yellow count, we assume that the fourth wave is still unfolding. And uh, we had an A wave down to the 20th of March low, then this would be a B wave rally that we've seen, A, B, C of wave B, and we're now coming down in the C wave. This count will challenge the $2,975 level. It's gonna challenge it. And if we look at the microstructure, as I already shared with you, this is likely the C wave down. And in the C wave, we already completed wave one. We saw that on Wednesday, wave two rally, and then the third wave down should reach this area, 3,244 to 3,136, more like in the middle probably. If you ask me, I think it would be very likely to reach 3,208 uh, or 3,200, which is the 1.38 extension, typically the first ideal target for a third wave and also the ideal target for a fourth wave pullback. Yeah, The 38.2 retracement, there's additional support there. So that would be ideal. Uh, looks as if we are still in the third of a third though. Um, so we might get another four, five to complete the larger third, then another four and the fifth. What I can share with you now is micro resistance. This would be a first indication that some kind of a low has formed. 
because really in this count, in this count, we should see the price stay below the 50% retracement. At the same time, that means if we break above 3,419 on a sustained basis, it would be our first indication that the B wave has bottomed in the white count. So that means in my opinion, to keep it very simple, the yellow count is in control. As long as the price stays below 3,419, a break above that level would shift probability slowly towards the white count. Yeah, that's my update about Ether. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.